most of the work has shown that the more white matter damage you have, the more likely you are to progress. But of course, um, there's ongoing research work to see whether we can um, make uh, a better prediction. And I would imagine that uh, this will uh, involve uh, progression of the white matter disease as well as other uh, lesions. So in a separate study from the one I just mentioned, we have shown that incident lesions are very important for the development of um, impairment. Um, but apart from these longitudinal uh, markers, what about cross-sectional baseline markers? And I think, you know, we will probably uh, go back to measuring white matter volume, uh, the total burden of cerebrovascular disease, because white matter hyperintensities are not the only measure for you know, uh, cerebral uh, bad things happening to your brain, and may also involve uh, measures of neurodegeneration, such as atrophy. And of course, I don't pretend that uh, the only reason you can uh, have cognitive impairment is due to cerebrovascular disease, although I'm very inclined to uh, support that view in my research. Of course, there's Alzheimer's disease. So uh, I think that we probably will have to also fit in uh, markers of uh, Alzheimer pathology. Now, of course, the good news is that all these things are becoming uh, possible uh, and more accessible as well. And the future will probably lie in blood biomarkers, not only for amyloid and tau, uh, which are now turning to be you know, tremendously uh, useful for prediction of amyloid load and, uh, in the brain, but also blood biomarkers for cerebrovascular disease. Uh, 